80s style retro designs are still popular today and I think I know why. They're so vibrant, they capture your attention, and it's really easy to spot out amongst other style of design trends. So today, we're gonna make our own 80s style retro poster using Kittle. And you can follow along with this tutorial if you sign up for Kittle for free using the link down in the description. We're gonna go over layout, type, colors, things like that. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so I can't wait to dive in. But before we do, do me a quick favor and hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss any of the upcoming tutorials here on the channel. So let's dive in. All right, to get started, we're gonna go up to settings and we're gonna change our artboard size. Now we're just gonna use this poster big setting. It's gonna immediately change it. And we're gonna pick portrait here, nice and big project for us to start our poster design. And then we're gonna choose our background color. And we're gonna go for this deep purplish color. It's a very retro color. It's a very 80s color as well. So this is gonna be our base. Then what we're gonna do is make a frame and it's pretty easy to do. All we need to do is grab this square shape, move it all the way across basically we're just making it the size of the entire artboard here and then we can go over into the border weight setting over here in the object settings give it a border I'm just gonna give it all of it here and then we'll take off the fill then we'll go to our border and we're gonna give it this kind of nice cream off white color here not quite too yellow but you know it's just somewhere in the tan setting is also really nicely plays with this purple and then we want to label it of course let's label our frame so we make sure all of our objects are easy to find and then we can start with with our type. So we're gonna go with a space theme here, if you couldn't tell from the thumbnail, uh, and we're gonna go with a space cowboy theme. So the first thing we need to do is pick a great font for this, and the one that I'm gonna choose is our Modern Hand Sans Serif font, which is a variable font. So I'll put that all the way across. There you can see it's really nice. It's very vi retro vintage, so to speak, but it's also very modern. I'm gonna close that spacing there so that it makes a, just a slightly a little bit more sense with this layout. We're gonna give it a border, and I'm gonna give it the same purple, but then go up. Also, I want it to be lighter, kind of like it's this highlight color or this this like kind of neonish color is what we're going for here. So then what we want to do is make sure that the text itself is the color of the background. And I'm going to show you why here in a second. After I get this sized up the way that I want it, we're going to duplicate it. So if I take this text here, hit alt or drag and move down, or you can hit copy and paste, command C, command V. Then I can use my arrow keys to nudge it down a little bit. And we're going to create this fading effect. Now it doesn't look like it right now, but just bear with me through the rest of the tutorial and you're going to see what's going to happen. So then what we can do is go Go over here and we can change the opacity kind of doesn't exactly give a full effect yet but once we start adding some textures and stuff you're gonna see how this depth really comes to life so let's get our subtext in here which is gonna be the word cowboys so space cowboys let's type cowboys and then we're gonna use a script font and the one that I would like to use is this Defoe font I like it it works really nicely it's very 80s it's very uh, lettering script retro and I think it works perfectly uh, in tandem with this modern hands sans serif font and then what we can do is go over to our decoration and we're gonna add a shadow. We just wanna, again, to give this depth. A lot of 80s posters had depth. They were very exciting. They were kind of jumping out at you and that's what we want. And so we have some decoration that we can add. Of course, we wanna change this color here. <laughs> Gray is not going to work, but we can make it that same, the same vein as the border, maybe a little bit more yellowish. It also plays with the purple nicely as well. So we're just gonna play with this for a little bit to get it exactly how we want to. You can change the weights and the distance with the sliders down here really easy to do to get effects like this so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our abstract shapes in the elements panel and we're gonna look for this Memphis category it's this is pretty amazing so we have 80s style illustration kind of like fun little icons here already ready for you to use in your 80s style design so you can see there's kind of these polka dots and jagged lines and lightning and stuff like that this is one we're going to use for this design and we're gonna kind of make it this moon shape here and and these kind of like fading cut lines is something you might see in like a Miami Vice style thing or, or something like that. It's very, it's very 80s, it's very retro, and it's gonna fit perfectly for this design. So we're gonna make two of them, and then I'm gonna turn this around so that it's connected, and I'm gonna make this one dark, and I'm gonna show you why later, so stay with me so that you understand why I made that black. We're gonna make the left one there, the lighter color that is the same as the type, and then we are going to flip it, do a little bit of fine tweaking here to make sure that the two circles are connected. And once you feel like you have that where it needs to be, we can put it where we want it. So I'm gonna slide it down here. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. And of course, we wanna send it to the back because 
I don't want it to be over top of that border there. So right click, send it back. Hey, if you're getting value out of this 80s style poster tutorial, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button and the red subscribe button. Then let me know in the comments, do you like all things 80s? Are you an 80s retro person? Maybe you grow up during them and uh, you love all of the old movies, the old shirts, things like that. I'm curious to know, are you a diehard 80s fan? Because if so, we'd love to do more tutorials like this. So comment down below. I'll engage with you there. For now, let's get back to the tutorial. So now we can work on our rocket. Again, we're in space, so we have to have a rocket. And I've got my eye on this one down here. If I scroll just a little bit, I like this one. Now, we're going to tweak the colors here. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, of course, because the center focal point of this is basically the, the rocket and the type. So I'm going to switch through my colors here pretty quickly to get them how I want them. And once it's looking pretty good, I can go over into my shapes and we are going to create this retro line effect. Uh, and this is something that you'll see in a lot of retro style designs, not even necessarily 80s, but especially in the 80s too. Uh, there were these different rainbow colored line effects that you would commonly see. And so uh, you would use your yellow and your orange and your thing like that. So I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen here. Of course, we want it to be behind those jagged lines. And so what we're gonna do is duplicate this line. It's pretty easy. I just added a block, of course. And then if we hit Alt and drag, or again, you can hit the Command C or Control C and V button. All we want to do is drag it over to the right, or you can use your arrow keys to do that. And then we're going to start creating our rainbow. So I can go to the object color and I can make this one more yellow or more orange or wherever I want to do. So I'm going to speed up through this process right here. We're going to make our rainbow effect and I'm going to show you what's going to happen once I make this black part of the moon the same color as the background. It's going to give a really, really cool effect. So once I do that, you can see that they the lines, the rainbow lines are kind of etched out as well. They're, they're, they're hacked out, which is a really, really cool effect. So I want to do a little bit of fine tweaking here because I need to make sure that my lines are hiding behind our letters correctly. So we, we don't want them peeking out in random places. So of course, what we need to do is go ahead and group our moon uh, or planet or whatever it is. And we want to make sure that we lock it so we don't start moving it around. So then I can raise, for example, this yellow one. And so what we're going to do is start creating creating some steps. So if I take this green one and then I move it up a little bit higher, it looks like this rainbow effect is going upstairs, so to speak. Uh, and it creates this really, really cool effect. It's visually enticing and it helps your eye kind of go to that focal point, which is the rocket there. So once we feel good about that, we can start adding some additional elements. Now I'm going to type in planet. Again, we're in space, so we got to have some planets like Saturn and whatever else you want to add. So I'm going to make these colors the correct colors and I'm going to start playing with some layout. I'm going to add several of them here and I'll just speed up through this process. You could add other things like stars and other components that you might commonly see in space. In this instance, I'm going to make sure that they're coming out of the sides of the of the posters. So then another cool thing that we can do is type in clouds. Now you might be thinking, why are we looking at clouds? Well, check this out. If I bring this below the rocket, you can also use clouds as smoke. So if I make this the same color as the border, it gives this really, really neat effect effect. And so it looks like the exhaust from this rocket taking off, uh, going up into space. And that's exactly what we want. So we can duplicate these different clouds, or we can go grab another one over here from the elements panel, make it the same color and really create a cool exhaust layout here. So then we want to bring our rocket to the front. And what I need to do is make some, some flames that are coming out of the back of the, the two, the two rockets there at the back, because it kind of looks like there's nothing really happening here at the moment. So I like this trapezoid shape. I think it's going to fit perfectly for what we're trying to do, kind of the, the exhaust or, or, or yeah, just the, the, the rockets there coming out of the back. So let's size these down and then we're going to make them the same color as the background. So once we have this exactly how we want it, kind of lined up with the back of that rocket, we'll go to object color and make that the same purple. And yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. So we can duplicate that again, alter option, command C, command V, put it over there on the right. And now that's looking a lot better. Now, if we go to the camera setting, I've already searched for space here. And when I click one of these photos, there it is in the middle and I can just make it as big as I would like it. And then we can start playing with our blending mode. So if I hit color burn, it's going to look one certain way, not going to work. Multiply, not going to work. Overlay, oh, might work. But once we get to soft light, it creates this really, really cool effect. And so you can see it up here at the top. We're going to label that photo. 
which is basically the space photo. And then we want to put the uh, rocket and the clouds above the photo. So we're gonna bring, we're gonna make sure that we bring that photo down below. We've grouped everything that we need so we can find it easily. And the same thing with the type as well. The type needs to go above the photo here too. So I can just drag that up above, boom, and that looks really nice like this. So then we can take this a step further. We've got this nice photo on here with the overlay effect that gives it this space vibe. But then we can add texture and if I add this texture here, I think it creates an additional interest here. So if I put it around like halfway maybe and set it again to that overlay or that soft light effect, I think it gives the colors a little bit more vibrance like you would see in uh, retro design and it gives it just that extra amount that can stand out amongst other designs. So then we can release this texture, go over here, we'll lock it, we'll double click and we'll label it paper texture and then we can take it a step further and add some grain so that your options are limitless here in Kittle and that even gives it further detail uh, to be captivating and adds even more depth. So then I'm going to add this little star to make the word space kind of stand out. It's, it's in the background but it's still important so if I find one of these nice little stars and we have so many of course I like this one and then if I size this down I'm going to put it over here on top of the word space and then again that's kind of a little visual interest for your eye to be drawn to the word space. And so this is looking good. Now I'm gonna tweak my colors a little bit really quickly. I want them a little bit more vibrant. You could play around with your colors forever. And when you're ready to download for something like this, I would use this new optimize feature. We just added this recently. And this is gonna be especially important for when you're using images or something like that, using PNG or even PDF for printing. And this is just a way to ensure that you get the best possible quality for your design. And here is our completed 80s retro Space Cowboys poster completely done in Kittle. Well, that's all for this tutorial. I have a playlist of other retro style design tutorials that might prove beneficial for you. So I'd love for you to check them out there. Also, we'd love to see what you're working on in Kittle. So don't forget to tag us at Kittle Design. You can find all of those links down in the description, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest. You can tag us there. We'd love to see it. Again, if you haven't done so already, hit that red subscribe button. It just takes a second. And that way you're not gonna miss any of the upcoming tutorials, tips, interviews, things like that here on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next video, create magic. Hey.